I'm going to be making some videos about this. This is the Zybo Z7. This is the start. I'm trying to get the channel and blog and get things started where I'm going to talk about microcontrollers, um, FPGAs like this, um, embedded you know, programming because that's related to all of this. And um, try to make it entertaining, try to make it interesting, try to make it useful. You know, sometimes when I watch this stuff, people either go too fast or they don't give enough detail or they spend too much time going step by step by step where it's best to go through and have step by step by step in a blog, you know, in written form, but then discuss what you're doing more. Now, one of my other guides, this just came today, and let's see if I can put this up. This is a book that looks like it's from a university in Scotland, and it has tutorials, so it has some examples, so we may look at this. Ultimately, what I want to do is there is a project that DigiLink put up on Hackster. Um, that uh, involves making a or self an autonomous vehicle and they use this and they use the camera which I have on order and will hopefully come within the next uh, week and they you know get the appropriate other parts the motors and the wheels and robot body, you know, car, you know, some kind of body to hold everything. And um, they end up, and that's my ultimate goal to do that. And that's going to be one of the things. And what's going to involve for me is to first, and my journey would be first learning how to use this, how, how to talk to this. Um, it's a little bit different then this other board that I've been working with called the RDS-7, which, and the difference, first of all, these are FPGAs, and we'll get into what those are. They are different than your microcontrollers because they're more like a bunch of building blocks as opposed to a processor that you go step by step by step. Uh, it's very good for multiprocessing, hence machine vision, machine learning. That's why it works so well with the camera. Um, and um, one of the first things I want to do when the camera comes is there is a sample project for that. Let's see if I can get that up and running. The, the next step on my thing with the Zybo is I uh, figured out yesterday how to or where to get a version of Peta Linux. And that is a version of Linux that runs on Zybo. And create a version of it and put it on SD card and uh, have it running. So um, that's one thing I'm going to do. And uh, so anyway, and I'm still trying to learn how to get this. So anyway, so that's that's the plan. Um, this is going to be my focus initially. Um, putting Xilinx, putting uh, Petalinux on it, getting the camera up and running, maybe doing some of some of these, some of the examples in here, and going through them, and uh, leading towards building that autonomous vehicle. And uh, I'm going to have to, I should uh, I'll pull a link up to the project and uh, see, I mean, to me, that's, that's the challenge. And that's the whole goal is to challenge myself in, in that way while, and, and with the purpose of all of us learning that it's, there's enough there that, that you can look and understand what it's going on. And kind of go on this journey together a little bit. But my goal is to make it understandable to you as I learn. 
um, so that you can learn how to use these these um, these boards and understand them because uh, there's a lot of future in them. Uh, this particular board here, this is Zybo, as opposed to the Artie, some of the others, this actually has a microprocessor on it. On the RDS 7 they you you do a soft core processor. This one actually has a processor that can communicate with the FPGA, so you kind of get the best of both worlds. You can take advantage of the FPGA's flexibility, but you also have this powerful processor that you can take advantage of. So we're going to get into that, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Thanks.